Well, good morning and welcome to Coach's Corner on Veterans Day. And just want to say thanks to uh, all the veterans before I forget because, you know, once we get start talking about all this sports stuff, I have a tendency to get on a one-track mind. And uh, But, again, I want to thank uh, all the veterans for uh, everything that they have done to keep this country free. Last night, of course, uh, we're kind of in between the seasons. We're, 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 we've got some time in between the fall seasons, which may or may not end up finishing up today. We'll talk about that in a, in a second or so. And then, of course, uh, the winter season's uh, getting underway. And, of course, the Fort Francis Lakers uh, of the SIJHL, they've been underway for a, a few weeks now, and they uh, they got goals from five different players last night on their way to a 5-3 win over the visiting Minnesota Iron Rangers. The Lakers led 1 to nothing after 1, 3 to 2 after 2 as they picked up their 6th win of the season. Julian Oranyak, uh, Jaden Ness, Skyler Lentz, Jack Burney and Hunter Buzzy were the goal scorers uh, for the uh, Lakers as Brett Aiken stopped 24 of 27 shots faced in net. Uh, for the uh, Lakers also Mark Richter and Jack Burney each had a pair of assists for Fort Francis. The uh, Lakers are off until Friday as they will be uh, back in action in a week here as I get a couple of certificates set up for these ladies. If you would hand those to them uh, for me, Kira, uh, or, uh, McKenna, excuse me, as I multitask here. And so uh, also uh, last night, of course, the high school playoffs uh, getting started. And uh, does uh, Jenica want breakfast? Yeah. Yes, okay, so we're, again, taking care of business here. Schneider, you want breakfast? Of course, she says. There you go. Thank you, ladies, for being here. And uh, so let's uh, go back. Of course, the high school football playoffs, state tournament getting started last night. And uh, as we look at things, let's start in the nine-man. Last night in Bemidji, Stephen Argyle, 39 over Cromwell, right, 22. Nevis, 42, Northwoods, 14. Spring Grove, 34, Verndale, 6. And Russell Tyler Ruth, an 8-6 to six over Mountain Lake area. So that sets up these semifinals next week at the U.S. Bank Stadium on Thursday and Friday mornings. Stephen Argyle versus Spring Grove, Nevis versus RTR. In Class A, all four semifinal, excuse me, quarterfinal games go off today. Goodhue versus Mayor Lutheran, Miniota versus Monoman, Faribault, um, <coughs> excuse me, Bethlehem Academy versus Wabasso, and Ada Borup, Norman County West is taking on Bram. In Double A football last night, uh, Moose Lake Willow River uh, they get a 41 to 14 win over West Central Area as they advance to U.S. Bank Stadium. Also in Double uh, A football last night, number one Caledonia 38 to nothing over Minnie. Minneapolis North, Painesville area 58, Barnesville 33, and Pipestone 19 to 12 over Blue Earth. So that sets up semifinals next Thursday and Friday. Caledonia versus uh, Painesville, Moose Lake, Willow River on Friday. They take on Pipestone area. 3A football, all four of the uh, quarterfinal games take place today. Of course, Piers takes on Proctor. That's the big one from Section 7. As that game gets started at 3 o'clock, you can listen to that game on the internet and you can see all these games. Uh, uh, video wise on the internet as well if you go out there and look for that but uh, the Proctor game on northwoodsradio.com if you're interested in that in 4A football last night all the uh, games were played Holy Angels 28 over Ricori Cloquet what a game I had a chance to listen to that one Cloquet was up 20 to 7 looked like they were going to ice the game Got a turnover, uh, fumbled the ball away. Becker comes back, scores a couple touchdowns to go up 21-20. But Cloquet gets two touchdowns in the fourth quarter as they win 36-21. to Winona over Fridley, 17-14. And South St. Paul, 42-14 to over Marshall. That sets some semifinals next Thursday and Friday. Winona versus Holy Angels Academy. And Cloquet takes on South St. Paul on Friday at 4.30. Friday football, Elk River. This is a football score now, folks. Hang with me. 66 to 60 was the final score in a state quarterfinal game last night. Andover scores 40 points in the second quarter and loses 66 to 60. Uh, the other quarterfinal games all go on today. Oatana versus Matamidi, St. Louis Park versus Brainerd, and Mankato West takes on Apple Valley. 
The 6A uh, games, the big schools, uh, two games on Friday night uh, from last night, excuse me, Minnetonka 10-6 to over Prior Lake, and Creighton-Durham Hall gets the better of Edina 28-14. to Thursday night they had two semifinal games, Eden Prairie the uh, favorite to win the uh, state title. They beat Lakeville North 35 to nothing. and uh, I have to talk a little bit about the other game, Maple Grove 29, St. Michael Albertville 27, and in that game with less than a minute to go, with less than a minute to go, St. Michael Elberville led 27 to 10 by 17 points. They led by three scores. Maple Grove scores with 59 seconds left, with 46 seconds left, and with four seconds left as they score three touchdowns in the final minute of the game as they win 29 to 27 to eliminate St. Michael Elbertville. Let's talk volleyball. The state tournament also going on there, and uh, yesterday... Let's start with uh, Class 3A, number one, Egan. They've been uh, sitting out there all season as the favorite. They get the better of Prior Lake, three sets to none. Lakeville North, also three sets to none. In uh, the consolation round of uh, Class 3A, Hopkins over Forest Lake, Champlain Park over Stillwater. In A last night, the... Uh, uh, class that the Broncos are in. Number one, Maple Lake. They've been number one all season. They get 3-0 over Holy Angels. And North Branch, who uh, won Section 7 2 a de they defeated Greenway last Saturday. They are into the championship match as they beat Marshall 3 to nothing. In the consolation round of uh, 2A, Roseau beats Watertown Mayor Cass and Manterville over Kenyon Wanamingo. Single A Volleyball Mayor Lutheran, who again has been the number one team all season in Class A, they win 3-0 over Wadena Deer Creek and Minnesota, the number two ranked team beats Bethlehem Academy 3-0 in uh, the consolation round of Class A, Cook County wins their first ever match at State, they beat Ada Borup, Norman County West 3-2 and New Life Academy beats Pine River Backus 3-1. That sets up the uh, Final games of the year in uh, volleyball. Let's start with Class A. The fifth, eight, fifth place match is Cook County versus New Life Academy. The third place game will be Bethlehem Academy versus Wadena Creek. And the championship game is Mayor Lutheran versus Minnesota. That game at 1 o'clock. In double A, fifth place, Rosal versus Cass and Manterville. The third place game will be Marshall versus Holy Angels. And the championship match between Maple Lake and North Branch. The big schools, 3A schools, uh, the fifth place game, Champlin Park versus Hopkins, the third place game, Moorhead versus Prior Lake, and then in the championship game, Egan versus Lakeville North. A few hockey, uh, girls hockey games from last night, uh, East Grand Forks over Bemidji, two to nothing. Orono, 4-2 over Cloquet Esco Carlton. Remember, Cloquet Esco Carlton now in Section 7A, uh, one of the teams that the Broncos will be containing with in Section 7A, and Proctor Hermantown, uh, takes down New Prague by a score of 4 to nothing. College hockey last night in the Big Ten, Wisconsin beats Michigan State 6-3. Notre Dame over Penn State 5-3. And Michigan gets the better of Minnesota in overtime 5-4. In the NCHC last night, Omaha over Colorado College 5-3. St. Cloud State loses to Denver 4-2. St. Cloud State ranked the number one team in the nation right now out in Denver. Denver ranked third in the nation. They get the better of that one 4-2. UMD 3-0 over Western Michigan and North Dakota 4-1 over Miami. In the WCHA last night, Bemidji State loses to Mankato 5-2. In women's hockey, uh, Ohio State over Mankato 2-1. Bemidji State beats St. Cloud State 3 to nothing. Wisconsin gets a 3-1 win at Cornell and Minnesota in overtime over Mercyhurst 2 to 1. Gopher men's basketball team got their season started last night as they are 15th ranked in the nation. They are at home at Williams Arena last night against South Carolina Upstate. Okay, you probably never heard of South Carolina Upstate. They made 14 threes last night. They apparently can shoot the ball fairly well, but uh, it was Jordan Murphy leading the way for the Gophers. 35 points, 15 rebounds, and Reggie Lynch added 15 points and 10 rebounds as the Gophers won their season opener 92-77. to What's going on locally uh, today? Well, the Bronco bowling team, uh, they're taking play, uh, part in the uh, conference tournament today. That match gets uh, started. That meet gets started at noon today down in Grand Rapids. They're looking for their opportunity to advance to the state tournament. The Rainy River men's and women's basketball teams will uh, be playing their alumni games today. The men, it's a little time change. Men at noon, women at 2 o'clock. I think before it was at 1 and 3. Uh, a little change there. So again, and we're going to have a chance to talk to the uh, Rainy River women's basketball team here in just a couple of minutes. Also, the uh, girls, Bronco girls swimming and diving team, they are down in Hibbing for day 2 of the Section 7A uh, meet. The diving prelims start at 11 o'clock. 
o'clock this morning, and then the finals for swimming and diving are at 3 o'clock. And uh, those uh, taking part in the uh, swimming finals, uh, get my, my other sheet of paper here. The uh, relay teams, all three relay teams uh, placed in the top eight. Uh, the 200 medley relay placed eighth. That was uh, on Thursday was Macy Marcotte, Whitney Gwynn, Braden Aker, and Ellie Nelson. Uh, the 200 free relay was uh, took eighth. Ellie Nelson, Lindsay Lucy, Emmy, Emma Erickson, and Amelia Stewart. The 400 free relay of uh, Caitlin Kelstead, Lindsay Lucy, Emma Erickson, and Amelia Stewart. Individually, uh, Swimming in the uh, A finals today, Emma Erickson, she took sixth in both the 100 free and the 200 free. Amelia Stewart took eighth in both the 50 free and the 100 free. And Lindsay Lucy in the uh, 100 butterfly, she took fifth place on Thursday. And so all those uh, teams will be and individuals will be swimming in the A finals starting at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Go for football at home against Nebraska. Uh, if they need have any chance, you know, to play in a bowl game, they're, they're going to need to win today against Nebraska. That game's at 11 a.m. on FS1. UMD in the, the NSIC is at Mary at noon. Bemidji State's at Mankato at 1 o'clock in the uh, FCS. North Dakota State's at South Dakota. North Dakota State losing for the first time in the season last week at South Dakota State. They take on South Dakota at 2 o'clock, and UM, UND is at home against Eastern Washington at 1 o'clock. Big day in top 25 uh, college football. Of the 25 teams in the top 25, I mean, that makes sense. 14 of them are playing against one another. There's seven games in the top 25. At 11 o'clock, Michigan State versus uh, Ohio State. Oklahoma State uh, versus Iowa State. Those two games at 11 o'clock. At 2.30, number one, Georgia against number 10, Auburn. Iowa with a big win over Ohio State last week. Jumps all the way up into number 20 there at Wisconsin, uh, who is number eight at 2.30. Number two, Alabama at Mississippi State at 6 o'clock. TCU number six uh, versus uh, at Oklahoma number five at seven o'clock. Loser probably has has their playoff uh, chances uh, dashed. The winner gives themselves a big argument to be in that top four. And speaking of the top four, number three Notre Dame at number seven Miami. Those two games at seven o'clock tonight. A lot of channel surfing going on with the hockey and everything else going on. Uh, how about speaking of channel surfing, the Wild at Philadelphia at six o'clock tonight. Of course that. Uh, game is a big one there as the Wild get to wrap up their uh, road uh, their road uh, woes here or their road trip excuse me and uh, hopefully can uh, capitalize on their big win the other night in Montreal. The Wolves are in Phoenix at 8 o'clock tonight and the Gopher women's basketball team in their season opener against Lehigh at 5 o'clock. Of course tomorrow the Vikings at the Redskins as noon after they came off of their bye and uh, that game will start with a pregame at 11 o'clock on K104. What are our uh, former Broncos uh, doing this weekend? Well, Lexi Erickson and the uh, St. Kate's Cross Country team, they're in Northfield today for the uh, NCAA Division Three Central Region meet. Maddie Filippiak uh, wrapping up uh, their regular season with the Bemidji State Volleyball team. They were at Sioux Falls last night. They are at Southwest, Southwest Minnesota State uh, today. Claire Palm, Lexi Graves, and Casey Myers with the Rainy River women's hockey team. They had their series with Lakehead canceled last week for uh, lack of players, and uh, next week they will be at home against Assiniboine. Amy Orn uh, with the uh, River Falls women's hockey team. They're at home against Stevens Points today. Abby Orn and Concordia Moorhead women's hockey. They're taking on St. Kate's last night and today. Lexi Edwards with Sacred Heart women's hockey team. Uh, they got a sweep last week of Post University, and they are taking on Holy Cross today and tomorrow. Lucas DeBenedict, who's with the Northland um, men's hockey team, Last week scored a pair of goals in a 5-2 win on Friday. Got an assist in a 2-2 tie on Saturday. Last night had a pair of assists in a 5-3 loss to the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Today they take on Concordia University out of Wisconsin. Abby Koshik with the Moorhead State uh, University uh, women's swimming team. They were at St. Thomas last night and today for a meet. Willie Korn, he's with the Brampton Beast. Uh, they got a 4-2 win over Norfolk last night. They play Adirondack on Saturday. Willie's got a goal and eight assists on the season. Let's take a break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk uh, cheerleading. We don't get to do that very often on Coach's Corner. We're going to talk cheerleaders that are heading to New York for the Thanksgiving Day Parade. You're listening to Coach's Corner live from Hardy's on K104 and online at rjbroadcasting.com. Well, welcome back to Coach's Corner. Is you know sometimes you, when you when you got people and they're you, they're talking, they're busy. You, you got a tough time getting them in here. So let's uh, let, let's talk cheerleading. 
like I said, I, this this might be a first on Coach's Corner. We we've been doing this show for wow. I think I've been doing this show for like nine, eight, nine years, and here we are, Jenica Wendler, the Schneids, as I like to call her, Kara Schneider. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, come on. Everybody had to know. And McKenna Holt joining me. And uh, these ladies are heading for New York. When? We're going. But you got to hold that microphone up close now, Jenica. We're going on Saturday morning. We're going to be. Oh, I, I, I lied earlier to somebody. I thought you guys were leaving like Wednesday or something. No. Uh, no. So, Our so, flight is like 4 a.m. on Saturday. Oh, well, that's a perfect time of the day to fly out. <laughs> out of Minneapolis, I'm assuming. Yeah. So down the night before, what, what's, what's I suppose a little Mall of America on Friday night? I so, have no clue. You ha- well, wait a minute now. If you don't have a clue, who's who's going to Jenica? My mom. Oh, <laughs> so 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 it's mom that's making the decisions here on this. That's that's always good to know. Uh, so I, I was asked this question this morning by a, by a patron here this morning, and it was I said I, I this is this is was one of the big questions that we're going to start. How does one get invited to the, this is the Macy Day, right? Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York. How, how, how does this work, Carol? How, how do you end up getting asked to go to New York to participate in the parade from International Falls, Minnesota? Well, um, our coach sends, like, cheerleading coaches all around the world. They get a letter in the mail. And then um, our coach asked some girls to go, and me, Jenica, and McKenna decided to go. So, and, and I, I just want to make sure that I understand. So you you don't have to go through really any competition or anything. No, you it, just it, have to apply. You just have to apply and, yep. then, and pay and, the money. Yep. And pay the money. <laughs> well, let's talk about the money. What 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 is a what what McKenna? What is a venture like this? What is this costing? It's about like three grand per person. Well, okay, you're staying in New York for mm-hmm. approximately a week, so hotel room is, is that's probably crazy, and then whatever, and then you, you guys got to have all the entertainment while you're out there, I'm sure, because you're not just going there to take part in the parade, you're going there to go to a play or something, I would imagine, right, Jenica? Yeah, the money, it's three grand plus our airfare, so then the money counts for our hotel, our food, and all the, um, Fun stuff. Fun stuff, yeah. So what other fun... Are, are we going to a play? Yeah, we're going to go see um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on Broadway. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, the Rockettes. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Never mind. Okay, and the Rockettes? <laughs> yeah. Well, that seems... That makes a whole lot of sense to me the, that, that you would go watch that. So well, it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Do the Rockettes only perform at Christmas time? No. Yes? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> what else, Kara? What else are we doing while we're, we're, we're... Besides the parade now, let's remember that. Um, we are also going on a harbor cruise and right. going to see the Statue of Liberty. Um, and, and we're going to Macy's. Shop. Well, if you're going to be in the Macy's parade, you should <laughs> end up at Macy's at some point. We right? get to shop on Times Square and Fifth Avenue. So, sounds pretty cool. What McKenna? What did they forget? You're you're shaking your head over here. They're, they're, they're forgetting something. No? Did they get it all? Empire State Building. Oh yeah. Well, get to go to the Empire State Building. Oh, and we get to tour Rockefeller Center and go skating. <laughs> In um, whatever it's called. Yeah, I know. Central Park. Mm -hmm. Okay. And since my mom's going with, we get to go off on our own, and we're going to try to go to Brooklyn and all that stuff. So, I I I thought we were going there to 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 do some cheerleading or something. Are we going to fit this in or? Every night we have a. (laughs) Yeah, a practice from like six to ten thirty or something like that. Okay, so. Basically, from six to ten thirty, you're you're busy, and then the rest of the time is yours, right? Mm-hmm. That's what you're telling me. Okay, so we're we're going there to practice. We're flying out Saturday. We get there Saturday, and all the practices begin. What exactly are we practicing to do for for the parade? What 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 does that entail? Do you guys even know? You guys are kind of looking at me. Kind of like, knows. Yeah. Kind of knows. So we we'll get to like the main stage where like the T like. When we're on television, and then we do like a whole like performance, like we do for Winter Sports Week, but with like 300 other girls from across America. And there's a dance team too. So yeah. So. Okay, so you're you're okay. I gotta make sure that I understand. So you guys are actually going to be on stage performing something, and then mm-hmm. also walking in the parade. It's yep. a two and a half mile walk. <laughs> Piece of cake for you guys, right? Oh yeah. You guys will be doing algebra equations the whole way. Yeah. So that's important <laughs> stuff. We know, we know that. But Okay, so it's a two and a half mile walk. So what do you guys do 
for two and a half miles, you're going to be. I mean, is it? Is is it is it is it choreographed for the entire two and a half miles, or is it something where you do something for four or five blocks and That's then you just keep, and then you keep repeating? We throw a couple of cheers in there on the way, but. And who are we cheering for? Anybody? Macy's, of oh, course. Of course. <laughs> Silly Tim. Why, why, why didn't he think of that? So do you, do you end up having to repeat that? You're not sure if that's what, what happens? Not yeah, sure. I don't know. There's like three cheers that they sent us to learn, oh. like to walk so, with. I don't know. So you guys yeah. have already been practicing a little bit anyway. Yeah. Just me. Just I me. haven't. I, I, I looked at it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Kayla sent me a video of it, but... I haven't really looked into it. So, so, so in other words, this week is you're going to get serious, or you're not going to get serious till you get to New York. Oh yeah, we'll get serious here. We can get serious. Yes. <laughs> we can get serious. Okay. So so we we obviously to raise three thousand dollars plus five hundred dollars or so for for flight or whatever it's going to cost. You guys have been doing some fundraising. What did you guys do for fundraising? Kara, I'll let you um. handle that one. Well, we did garage sales, and we had a pancake breakfast. Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago, right? Yeah, about a couple of weeks ago. And then, um, what else did we do? We tried having a movie day this oh, summer, yeah. but it was the same day as Little Fork Fair, so... That didn't go so well? Uh, no, it wasn't a big turnout. Okay. Um, so, garage sales. Yeah, we've, we did a lot of garage sales. We made good money out of that. Okay. So... It, 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 mom and dad still had to still had to fork over some dough though to make this this make yeah. this about nice happen. like nine hundred each I think. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So so what what do you hope to to get out of the trip? Each one of you get to answer that question. What are you hoping to get out of the trip? Is it to go to New York? Is it to be on TV? Is it to what 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 do you see as, as maybe being the highlight or, or what you hope that when you come home you're going to say, this happened? Well, I've always wanted to go to New York around Christmas time and see the, bis- the big Christmas tree. So that'll be exciting. And then also being on TV will be really exciting. Kara, how about for you? I think just experiencing, like, going on, like, Broadway and, like, seeing the shows and, like, just being somewhere I haven't been before. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Jenica? I mean, I, it's kind of just a once-in-a-lifetime experience, so I'm just looking forward to that. And I've always wanted to go to New York. I love New York, so, yeah. Okay, so the parade is on Thursday. You're flying out Saturday. The parade's on Thursday. When are you coming back? That Friday. That Friday. Okay. So you guys won't be able to participate in the Black Friday shopping extravaganza because you... Well, on. on the way back. Oh, see, on the way back, we might have to stop at the Mall yeah. of America and, yeah, maybe, and, and, yeah. and take care of a little shopping. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's a good plan. You must have some people you guys want to thank. Who, 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 who's foremost uh, that who we need to thank? Oh, we forgot. To talk about I we did mini leaders camp too. So our mini leaders we have to thank too. I think we should thank Lori for yeah, Lori. you know asking us to participate in this. I think without her we wouldn't probably be able to go. So okay, Lori yeah. Potter. We, Lori Potter. We'll, we'll give uh, the last yeah. name there. Uh, who else? What? Um, our parents. Yes. Because. Mm-hmm. Well, without them, we probably wouldn't be going because they had to spare that extra nine hundred dollars each, <coughs> and that's a pretty big chunk of change. So. Any, any anybody else? So well, just anyone who supported us and yeah, yeah, donated the, and spent money at our garage sales. Yeah, all and the all local that. businesses that donated. Mm-hmm. It was very kind. Well, I wish you uh, ladies the uh, the best of times there. Uh, hopefully, uh, the travels are are safe. You know, it uh, always is is I- interesting when you have to get on a plane and and uh, you know they, they have different schedules than we have schedules and they, they things don't always go right. So I hope the weather's good and uh, I hope that it's not uh, too chilly on it's Thanksgiving Day. It's not even day. snowing there yet. Not even snowing yet. 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 We'll it's see. Supposed to be good weather. So okay. let's hope. Well, let's hope so. Hopefully. <laughs> Jenica Wendler, Kara the Schneid Schneider, and uh, McKenna Holt uh, joining us here this morning. And uh, again, ladies, thanks for being here and, uh, and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll take a break, and we'll come back, and we're going to talk women's college basketball. You're listening to Coach's Corner, live from Hardy's on K104 and online at rjbroadcasting.com. Yeah, welcome back to Coach's Corner for our third segment, and uh, joined by members of the Rainy River women's basketball team, Devin A. I said it right. She won Devin A. Gross, uh, Tequila DeGrate, 
and our our our, our veteran Valon Mobley. She, she's I, you've been on before, haven't you, Valon? Yeah, I thought so. So, uh, ladies, thanks for being here. And uh, well, first of all, let's 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 get the introductions out. Let's let's find out where you guys are from. So, Devine, where are you from? Um, straight out of Chicago. Straight out of Chicago. So you're used to this kind of weather. This yeah, this. this 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 isn't this isn't bad, right? Yeah, I had snow all my life. You had snow all your life. Well, that's uh, <laughs> that's good enough. Tequila, what about you? Um, Waco, Texas. Oh boy. They have snow in Waco every once in a while. Yes. Um, probably every six years. It'll mm -hmm. probably little a little frost, like, but it's no snow. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> stink. So, so what do you think about this? Um, I liked it at first, but um. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I want it to go. Well, I'll tell you what. I've lived here for 48 years, and I'm already sick of it. So I, I'll, I'll join you right in on uh, on that. And, and Valon Mobley, Orlando, Florida. Orlando, and of course you're a veteran of this of this winter weather. Although last winter wasn't too bad. No, I wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. bad. Yeah, I, I, you, you came back. Does, does that mean you, you're okay with the snow and and whatever? She shakes her head yes at me that, that everything's good. So, well, you guys have been at it, uh, Devonay, for what uh, f five, six weeks already practicing. Yeah. Is is, is it? Uh, it? It's go time. It's time to play some games, right? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm uh, ready. You guys uh, have had some scrimmages. Uh, talk a little bit. Uh, I'll give each one of you a chance to answer this. How have the scrimmages gone for the for the Voyagers women's basketball team? Well, I'm actually coming back from a pulled hamstring. Okay. But so far we've been doing pretty well. Five and one. Five and one. Okay. Uh, Tequila, how about for you? Uh, and I'll tell everybody at home. Tequila, she's tall. I, I <laughs> six two. Six. I was gonna. I was gonna. Ask six two. She, six two. <laughs> When, when, when she walked in this morning, there was no doubt. Well, she was wearing a red Rainy River basketball jacket, but there was no doubt that she had to be a basketball player. Uh, what about for you? What, what's, what's been going well for, for the Voyagers basketball team so far? Um, there is, well, <laughs> um, what we do in practice is what we turn up in the game. Sure. And it's been easy for these scrimmages, so I'm excited for the games. Juan, how about for you? What have you seen through the first five, six weeks with the scrimmages? What, what, what's different about this team versus last year's team? Maybe I'll give that. See, so you're you're a second year player. Maybe we'll we'll ask you that. We just need a team bond. So once everybody get used to each other, that's it. That's all it takes. Is, is that something that you guys try to do off the floor? Maybe do some activities together or do some things maybe not just school work or just not going to practice it's something you guys try to do I you know I know everybody talks about the bus trips or the van trips being a good time at the hotels trying to do things together is this something Devin that this team has tried to do to try to because you guys only get a chance to be together for one or two years it's not like a four-year school it's tough to get everybody to come together and do those things yeah we uh, we play Uno a lot in Monopoly eat dinner together so it's wow. like a family. Now, now, where I came from, Monopoly always ended up in a big fight and an argument because, <laughs> and, and sometimes that's a good way to bond. I, I but did, are the Monopoly games pretty uh, competitive? They're intense. They're very intense. <laughs> <laughs> they are intense. Monopoly can't be played any other way. It should be a very simple, easy game, but boy, I'll tell you. It's so long. It, yeah. it, you feel like you made one long. smart move. It's like, no, <laughs> they'll come. Yeah. And, and they yeah. start ganging up on you. Is exactly what happens. Uno. Like, is Uno's not competitive though, is it? It's not. Yes, it yes. is. Is it, is it, worth, yeah. is it <laughs> compete on everything? Yeah. Is, it, is it worse than Monopoly? She wins every time in a Monopoly, and it's just terrible because she has a little dog. She's like, "Oh, it's good luck." My dog is good luck. <laughs> she always. Wins. We always fight over the dog as well. I agree with you, Volan. That that it, it's amazing. So okay, so Monopoly and Uno and eating dinner together. We're all roommates. Who, 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 who does the cooking? Uh, she do. Yeah. Tequila, you're, you're a good cook? Yeah, I try. She I try? <laughs> you, 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 bring, you brought, brought your Texas food skills, so what, what, what do you like to cook? Um, they like to eat chicken alfredo, oh. chicken, whatever they want to cook want to eat, I'll cook. It's that simple. It's that yeah, simple. Easy. It's nice when you have somebody who wants to cook and... 
there you go. All right, let's talk about the season. You guys open up the season Tuesday down at Masabi uh, Range uh, at 5 o'clock on Tuesday. Have you guys seen Masabi Range in your travels through the scrimmages? You guys shaking your head at me? No, no, I haven't. Have not? Volan, you, you had a chance to play Masabi last year. You what do you what Do you remember anything specific about the games against Masabi Range last year? Hmm. Uh, mostly active. They move a lot, so we just got to be ready. It, it, what what kind of tempo are we going to see this team play at this year, De De Devonay? What, what very you fast tempo. Very Our fast tempo. tempo. Yeah. Our tempo. Our yeah. tempo. Our tempo. So now, if I looked at the roster, right? Did I see eight girls on the roster? Mm -hmm. Eight. 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 So forty minutes with eight girls up tempo. Easy to do? Yeah. Easy to do. So we're going to see up-tempo. Does that mean we're going to see up and down the floor offensively? Or are we going to see full-court pressure defensively? Or is that something that will be turned off and on? Or, or is it going to be more of a half-court pressure? What, what, uh, what have you guys been working on, Devonate, through the first part? Mostly half-court pressure, but it's really whatever coach throws at us. And we always ready for it. Okay. Now... Kayla, you're, you're, like I said, I, always, I, I said earlier, 6'2", these, these, these look like guards to me. They're talking about running and running and running. Um, when, 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 does, when does the post player get hurt? And I assume you're a post player. I'm, I'm making an assumption there. I assume you're going to be the post. When are you going to get your touches? Because I know I, every, everybody wants to get a touch of the basketball. And there's, there's people who are unselfish and whatever. But everybody wants to touch the basketball and be part of what's going on. I assume uh, that, that, that that's what you like to do, get down in the post? Or are you more of a, a perimeter player? Um, block player. And they always want to give me the ball. Every chance they get, they be like, post up, post up, post up. So they have to get a lot of touches. It, se it seems in this day and age of the running up and down the floor, the shot clock, that a lot of teams... Or a lot of players, men and women, don't like to put their back to the basket and post up and do those kinds of things. Is that something you feel comfortable doing, Tequila? Um, at first, I did it, but now I um, get a little more confident of doing it, so it's going to be easy. Is there, a, is there a signature move that you have once you get down the block? Is there is there something that you like to do because... I, I, I'm, I'm a basketball guy. I like to I, I like to watch basketball, and like I said, a lot of times the the post players don't always get a chance to do what they need to do. What what, what what's the best move you got? Um, I like to go baseline a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> a little little you got a little baby hook in there. You got a little little baby hook shot in there, or uh, no? Yeah. <laughs> Turn around, face up. Use the glass or no glass? Which which because glass like, glass is your best friend. Um, glass is your best friend. <laughs> Volan, you're, you're point guard, point guards, shooting Sh guard, shooting guard, point guard, point guard. All right, so you get to dictate that tempo. Yeah. Is, it, is it something through the first few weeks of practice, Devin, that you've gotten the feel for this team of of where people are going to be, where they like to run, where they like to, you know, Volan's one of those players. I think from last year, if I remember right, likes to get to the wing. She wants to get out there, shoot the three, and dribble penetrate from there. Is that something where you feel like you've... Yeah, I feel like the first two weeks it was about getting to know what's what, who's who, and then like that third week, it kind of all went into play. I knew who my shooters were, post player, and so I feel like we like gel together now. Juan, uh, again, you're bringing this, you're the veteran. Anybody else back from last year's team? I Serena. Serena. Okay. Uh, Perendo, right? Yes. Okay. So you got two back, six new people. Uh, what, what are the goals for this team? You're 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 the you're the veteran, Volan. What 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 do you what do you see that this team can accomplish? What 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 are the goals? Is it is it a Northern Division championship? Is it getting to regions? What's what's the goal that you guys guys have kind of set for this team? Well, I need the mindset to be focused on one game at a time. Stay confident within everything you do, and we'll make it to the end. We'll make it to the end. I I, I like that. Is there a team out there? Maybe you've talked to the the other ladies on the team. Is there a team out there that maybe this women's team has a history with that is kind of maybe the 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 rivalry team out there that. Northland. Northland. <laughs> why, why Northland? Uh, we've been going neck and neck with Northland for the last three years, so 
the, it's just about time that we just take over. They've, they've got a, they've got a good program, right? And, and, and that so you, so you go after the hunted. Has, has she told you any stories about Northland and, and what you guys need to take care of? Um, we just focus on ourselves, really, and we're gonna come to play every game like it's our last. Well, uh, I, I, I wish you guys uh, the best of luck uh, through the first part of the season. Of course, uh, I know the first home games are December 8th and 9th. Matter of fact, those are the only home games before uh, the holiday break, and then you guys get to go home for a few weeks and uh, and come back. But uh, those home games on, on the 8th and the 9th, I think you guys got a tournament uh, after the Tuesday game against Masabi, uh, tournament in Ely. Uh, the, the next weekend and then off Thanksgiving and then down south for a couple of games and then home and then an, another tournament. So you guys will have eight, ten games underneath your belt before you head home for Christmas and we'll have you guys back in January and we'll we'll talk about how things are going. How's that sound? That sounds perfect. Devin A. Gross, Valon Mobley, and Tequila DeGrade joining me here. We'll take a break and we'll come back and we'll wrap up Coach's Corner. You're listening live on K104 and online at rjbroadcasting.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Coach's Corner for our final segment. Again, uh, thanks to my guests this morning, the uh, the Bronco cheerleaders, Jenica Wendler, Kara Schneider, and McKenna Holt, and also to the uh, women's basketball players from Rainy River, uh, Tequila DeGrate, Devin A. Gross, and Valon Mobley. And uh, let's wrap up uh, the show as we always do. with.